what they will ask. Do I have to pay just any amount that photographers are quoting? Do I mean some of them are outrageous? It doesn't make sense. Well, I can say some some of the prices are quite expensive, no doubt. But it will come. We'll talk about it in the next episode. Why some photographers charge what they charge? Um, but the key thing is that do I have to pay a good price? Yes. Do I have to cut corners? I won't advise that. Um, unfortunately, I for a client, she's supposed to book us for her traditional marriage. You know, she she she's a banker and uh, her husband was coming from the US. So she called somebody I had worked for in the past to sort of book us. So I spoke with the lady, uh, we had an agreement on the price. Then she told me that her friend will call, the one getting married will call me. And I said, okay. So I kept waiting, there was no call. So I called her back and made her aware that her friend has not called yet. So she was surprised. So she got back to her friend then she gets back to me and says that well a cousin of her friend says that she can get a photographer to do the ceremony for her at 500 cities so she's sorry she disturbed me i said oh no problem i mean it's business you know so what can i say then funny enough two days after the ceremony she called back an unpleasant experience they had was that the person that they booked for 500 who had even received 200 cities as part payment, unfortunately did not show up. Yep. The photographer did not show up the whole day. And they kept calling and calling. So when they realized that it was getting bad, she now told the client that I had worked for that she should call me and that whatever it takes for me to get there, they will do it. And she said she can't do that because she already booked me for them they do not take it serious, so she's sorry she cannot do that. And unfortunately, they had the ceremony and they were using mobile phones <laughs> to, to take the pictures. So yeah, sometimes it's sad, you know. I mean, I'm not laughing at a, cl at a, at a potential client, but I mean, pay good money, you know. Especially with photographers who have proven themselves that, that you know, they are worth their, you know, what's, what they take, you know pay the right price because it's a business we're giving you a service a service that is good enough so pay for the right price because if you cut corners if you're not lucky you you find a photographer who may not even show up at your wedding and mind you everything else at the, at the venue will go but the pictures you have will remain so thank you for watching this episode and i'll see you in the next one